Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, we got a new season. It's season 53. And this is war number one, first war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance called New York City Inferno Squad. Okay, who did y'all ban? Yep, there we go, the kickoff. All right, Count Nefaria. I don't even have him, so. Um, but my girl, Lady Deathstrike, why y'all mess him? And Ironheart, who I don't bother. Silk, I already knew Silk was going to be banned. Uh, globally and Sherry. Yep. Yep. But now we've got Hercules and Hulkling are ban immune. I like that. Although I don't use Hercules for war, really. Okay. Let's uh, see what they got planned for us. And then we'll look and see who my uh, alliance leader has assigned me to. So this first fight, I'm automatically thinking Corvus. Then we have Omega Red. Looks like he is a global defender, so might bring in somebody, preferably someone who is a robot that's also um, uh, an attacker, global attacker. And let's see, we got Adam Warlock. Ugh. And we've got Red Skull, who... Corvus can handle. And then we see the uh, minis here. So let me take a look real quick and see who I've been assigned. All right. Here we go. So Gilly, he's got me using Corvus. All right. And who else we got here? Omega Red. He wants me to use Omega Sentinel. Okay. And uh, she is Sekitur. And Section 2, Adam Warlock, Doom? Interesting. Okay. And that might... We'll, we'll, we'll circle around to that. And then Red Skull, Corvus, of course. Okay. So, let me see. Does he have me for any minis? He does. I bomb and he has me fighting with Omega Sentinel. Okay. So that means the only person I'm using Doom for is Adam Warlock. Uh I I don't know. My my Doom is not all the way ranked up, but he might still be able to handle him. I don't know. Um but we'll see. I might um ask to swap Doom with, with someone else. We'll see. Somebody uh, followed us while I was doing the recording. All right. Anyway, uh, let's get on with the fighting. All right. I'm going in with Juggernaut, Omega Sentinel, and Corvus. So all three of these champions are beasts in their own right. Okay. Uh, I don't use Omega Sentinel a lot, but as you will see later on, she is the perfect counter for that particular fight that she's taking. All right. So, you know, we're going to boost up. Don't really need to boost up a ton uh, for this first part here. But the only tricky thing about fighting um, Guillotine 2099 is that Digicloak. And, of course, she's annoying when she fires off her special one and drains you. But um, that's the only tricky thing about the fight honestly uh what you want to do is you want to knock her down in order to put that digi cloak on cooldown so corvus as you'll see i'm gonna parry which armor breaks her and then i knock her down 
Now, the Digicloak is on cooldown. Now, on this particular node, when she has an armor up, I will get power burned and, and damaged while she has an armor up. But, Corvus armor breaks on parry. So, as you can see, he just took her down. So, now I have a tech charge. So, Corvus is even stronger now. This is what I like. I know some people, you know, consider him a ramp up champion and he does ramp up, but even not ramped, he's still a beast. You know, you boost up a little bit and you're good. All right, so now we've got Omega Sentinel. And Omega Sentinel against Omega Red, um, she is a robot. So I'm not going to have to worry too much about his uh, spores because um, that's what makes Omega Red so awful uh, to fight. He puts them spores on you, but when you're a robot, he's not going to be able to build up a lot of spores. Now, he does not get armor ups. So on this node, he does not benefit uh, from the node. All right. So here we go. Now you'll notice I have one spore. See how quick it went away? Now the regeneration I got to deal with, and that's why you saw me do a heavy attack because I forgot to do the free fight, but just a heavy attack. And now I have easy access to heal block. Okay, just look at this. Beautiful. I really, I have her as a uh, seven star. And I was thinking about bringing in the seven star instead of the uh, six star. But I was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure the six star will work. Um, her awakened ability, I don't think was that big of a deal. But since I'm not that comfortable with her, I wanted to make sure uh, to have any advantage that I possibly could, um, whatever it, it may be. So down goes Omega, uh, Omega Red. And you'll notice that I didn't really get <clears throat> those uh, spores on me because she's a robot. So he's not gonna baby, you know, he got the one spore and then it went away really quickly. All right, so now we're gonna go into section two. And this first fight here is where we're gonna bring in the Juggernaut. Teach, teach me how to juggy. Juggernaut is pretty straightforward to uh, use and very powerful. I actually like Juggernaut. At first, I was like, hmm. I remember he get he you know he got a rework, and I was like, okay. I hear a lot of people talking about him and um, how good he is now, but every time I would use him it didn't seem like he was, you know, that good. It was me. I wasn't using him properly. And now you're going to see the juggernaut. Look at him coming in. Bam. Already. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely. All right. We're going to build up. There we go. We built up to the maximum. Boom, boom, boom. Stasis pod, what? You ain't gonna last long enough for your stasis pod. So that's how you juggy. You know, you want to have maximum, which is 10, of his uh, unstoppables. And then you want to fire that special too. And as you can see, you do massive amounts of damage. All right, so the next fight, straightforward. As I told you with uh, Corvus, watch this. Bam! Look at all the armor breaks. Every armor up he had is now an armor break. All right, now he will get some more armors. And on this node, when they have armor, um, you can get a shock on you. But Corvus don't care about shocks. So perfect even if I were to get a shock. But I don't need to because every time he gets an armor up, I just got to parry him and it's gone. 
if he builds up to a couple of power, um, armor ups, is gone. All right, now this is the fight that I was telling you was the absolute perfect matchup for Omega um, Sentinel. Okay, this time we are going to start with her, um, you know, heel block. It wouldn't have mattered even if I didn't. I would have just done a heavy. And look at the nodes here. Okay, that personal space regeneration, you've got to deal with that regeneration. Okay, and you're dealing with um, Abomination who puts poisons. Well, guess what? Omega Sentinel don't care about them poisons. Okay, I want you to watch. Look at her reject. That's what happens when she gets um, poison. Okay, or bleed for that matter. And just look at this. Look how easy it is to heal block. Just, I can do a medium medium and heal block if I want to. Sometimes I'll do that. Uh, most of the time, I'll just go ahead and do a full five hit combo. They stack. So he's not gonna, as long as I, I play it well, he will not heal at all okay now i could still mess up but you don't want to do that not against uh this node because he will heal all the way back up see how i did a medium medium right there because it was getting down to the um to the wire there and i didn't want all those regens because he has a stack of regens and if he doesn't have a heal block on he will go right back up to full very quickly and it'll drag out the fight Omega Sentinel, she's still good. Um, look at her health. All right, look at this. Boom, and done. Beautiful, beautiful fight. All right, so that is going to do it for my participation in this particular war. Uh, and we'll be back, and you'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So we start off the season with a win. Very, very nice. Let's look at that. Look at that. Shout out to our MVPs. Um, we are in tier two. So that's a nice chunk of points. And as long as we can maintain, you know, a decent um, balance of wins, losses, and stay in tier two, we will have um, Platinum 3 in the bag, uh, possibly Platinum 2. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol In the fight he swept, his tactics be tight Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown